Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the world of uniform distributions. Um, uniform distributions in Section 7-1 of your text are described as or represented with a rectangle or a box. What we know about uniform distributions is that they have a definite upper end and a definite lower end as opposed to our curve where we were kind of sitting on the axis looking like this and we were never quite sure what was out here at this end and this end. The one thing that we know about uniform distributions is that our ends are absolute. So in problem six on page 199 it tells us that technical support takes between 30 seconds and 10 minutes to respond to one of our requests. So we know that this lower end is always going to be 30 seconds. This upper end is absolutely going to be 10 minutes. We have to use like uh, measurements. So we're simply going to convert 30 seconds and 10 minutes both into minutes. So we know that half a minute or 30 seconds is half a minute. So down here we know now that the lower limit or the lower end of our distribution is 0.5. The upper limit is 10. And we can split that right in the middle, which is what this line represents right here with this arrow. And that's the mean. And in order to get the mean, I'm just simply going to take the distance from here to here, the distance from here to here, and in this case, what I end up with is 10.5 divided by 2 gives me the mean of this uniform distribution as 5.25 minutes. All right, so now we have our distribution, you know, set up and, and ready to work with. Um, the first thing part A asks is what are the values for A and B in minutes? Well, what we know is that a and B are simply these two points here, the two ends of our distribution. So 0.5 is going to be A, 10 is going to be B. So that piece solved. Question B asked you what the mean time was, and we've already solved for that, which is simply the middle. Remember, I just got that by adding this plus this divided it right smack into, gave me the mean of the distribution. In order to calculate the standard deviation, you're simply going to apply the formula on page 196 um, in uh, figure 7-2. And when you take 10 minus 0.5, square it, divide it by 12, take the square root, now what we know is the standard deviation of this, of the time and of this uniform distribution is 2.74. The next thing that the problem asks us in section C is what fraction of the problems take more than five minutes to resolve? So what that's basically saying is what fraction of this distribution is contained, I'm going to say right there is five minutes, and we know that because it goes up to 10, we're actually looking for the fraction, I prefer to say the percentage of times that are going to fall in this area right here. So we need to determine what's the probability that a service call is going to take between f at least five but of course no more than 10 minutes because 10 minutes is the absolute top of our distribution. So what is that the same thing as saying? It's basically the same thing as saying what is the probability that the wait time will be at least five minutes but we know because this is a uniform distribution that it will be no greater than 10 minutes. So we've got to find the probability that our wait time falls between this five minute point here and this 10 minute point here. Well, if five is now here, then this actually becomes the equivalent of our 
actually becomes the equivalent of our A. This is still our B. And so all I'm going to do up here is I'm now going to plug it into the formula that they show on page 196 in 7-3. Now I'm going to say that the probability of that wait time less than 5 minutes and greater than 10 minutes is 1 divided by B minus A times, times the distance between the 5 and the 10 minutes. The distance between the 5 and the 10 minutes, which is going to be, of course, 5. And what that ends up giving me is 0 0.5263. And what that tells me is that given a uniform distribution that it will take for a service call to be answered in le in greater than five minutes, this area under the under the distribution right here is 52.63, or 52.63 percent of the time, the wait time will be greater than five minutes, but we know that it will always be less than 10 minutes. So now the last piece of the of that question asks us. Suppose we want to find the middle 50% of the problem solving times. What are the endpoints? This really doesn't require as much math as it does kind of some logic. How about that? So let's apply a little logic to that. We're looking for the middle 50%. So what that tells me is that 25% of them are going to fall up here. 25% are going to fall here. So really what I'm looking for is I'm looking for an area is right in this area and what I need to know is I need to know what is the value here and what is the value here well let's figure that because this is uniform that that means that this piece right here is going to be half of the distance between 5.25 and 10 this one is also going to be halfway in between. So it's going to be half the distance between 0.5 and 5.25. So let's see, see how that math works out to solve this one for us. For us. So what is the, what is half of the distance here? Well, let's go back and let's figure that it is going to be that 5.25 down here, distance between 5.25 and the 0.5 is going to equal 4.75. But I know that I only need to go halfway through it, so I'm going to divide it by 2, and that's going to give me 2.375. So what I now know is that the halfway point right here is going to be 2.375. Now let's find halfway between 5.25 and 10. I'm going to do it the exact same way. All right, so I've taken the 10 minus the 5.25, and we're going to prove that it's still 4.75 divided by 2. And that's going to be 2.375. So what we what we know is that in order to get halfway to this distance, halfway from this distance, we've got to travel 2.375. And now, in order to solve for it, all I've got to do is say 0.5 plus the 2.375. 2.375 plus 0.5 gives me 2.875 for this value. And I'm going to take the 5.25 here. 
I'm going to come up 2.375. This is going to give me a value for the upper end of that range of 5.25 plus 2.375. It's going to give me 7.625. And I believe that those are the correct answers. So what that ends up giving us is it ends up giving us the end point of the two times. The lower end point is 2.875, the upper end point is 7.625, and what that does is that tells us that this is the middle 50% of the distribution because this was 50% of the whole thing plus half of this side and half of this side gives us a total of 50% or the absolute center of a uniform distribution. The nice thing about working with those with these uniform distributions is that we know what the end point is on the top and the bottom and because they're absolutely rectangular you're basically just cutting up a rectangle and you can actually apply some of your old geometry skills so I hope this helps um, I see you guys around the around the ranch bye